Hey guys, welcome back. It is a dreary morning. It is very dreary. It's um, thundering, lightning, raining, and I'm going to do another unedited get ready with me. It's like an Instagram live that you can watch over and over forever. Uh, so I thought I saw something. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm dropping my bottle caps. I don't know where it went. My shirt matches my water. I'm blue. I'm a diaba dye. Let's come in closer here. Hello. So the other day I posted a Sephora haul and I thought we would play together. And I'm also going to be trying a hack for uh, making your foundation stay on way better for the summer. Thank you guys to, for tweeting me this because I talked about this in my last <clears throat> couple of vlogs, I think, where <clears throat> in the summer now that it's really hot, my skin is like different. I never had this problem before uh, where like stuff just won't stay on. Uh, my makeup, like when I start to sweat, if I get like a little like doppel of sweat somewhere, when I try to, you hear that thunder guys? Do you hear it? I wonder if you guys can hear it on camera. Uh, when I try to just like dab the sweat, the foundation pulls right off, even with the lightest touch. Even if I do it with like a paper towel or something, my foundation will not stay on. So I'm going to try this Wayne Goss method. <laughs> and I'm right now I'm applying some primer. This is the e.l.f. No! Oh, I'm such an idiot. No, 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 I was supposed to try, ah, what is wrong with me? I was supposed to try the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Oh my God, should I just start this over? No, we're not gonna start this over because this is real life, this is what I do. I have done this in so many videos. <laughs> Guys, I'm starting over. I wanted to try this primer, damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Is anyone still here? <laughs> oh my God. So mad at myself right now. I cannot believe that I just put the wrong primer on. Oh my god. So anyway, I watched a Wayne Goss tutorial. This is such a mess already. Ooh, I don't know if anyone is still here. Uh, and in the tutorial, it's basically like he said it's making your foundation stick on like glue, and I'm like, hell's yeah, I need that because like my foundation will not stay on. Ooh, Look at a red line right here. Did I scratch myself in my sleep? I don't know. Uh, so basically I'll go through the steps that he shared. Um, so like summer proof makeup. So let's try this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And see how it is. This stuff feels really nice. It feels very like silky, pore filling vibe. So I'm really excited to see if it works well. Maybe makes our foundation look better. It feels very, very soft, very silky, like the name. <laughs> puts on the wrong primer, takes it off and puts on the right one. All right. I'll do a check-in at the end of uh, the day and we'll see if this method worked because it's another hot day out and it's raining. So like if my skin gets wet, you know, we'll be able to check if it didn't take my makeup off. Let's get our hair out of our face because there's nothing more stressful to me than watching someone do their makeup with their hair around the perimeters and I'm like, how are you not getting that everywhere? Okay, so the first thing they did, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Original All Nighter Spray today. So he said to take your fave setting spray. First spray. We're gonna let that sink in. Next, I am gonna be using a new foundation today, one that's a little bit more matching for my skin right now since I'm a little bit tan. Um, we're getting a call from New York. Hello? Hi there, my name is Ryan. Okay, I'm back, sorry. <laughs> mm, chapstick. I'm using the Brazilian Kiss that I got. Okay, so the next thing here, I'm gonna be using the Lancome Ultra Wear in the shade 260. It's supposed to be 24 hour wear and comfort and it has SPF in it even though it's not sunny today, but the color looks pretty good for where we're at right now. So Wayne Goss took four, 
four scoops of setting spray and he mixed it with the foundation in his hand. You can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Uh, and I have my new Fenty Beauty sponge and I'm gonna mix, I'm mixing in my hand, I'm mixing. This is very wet, this is very wet. Okay, okay, okay. He said this makes it like glue. This is gonna definitely shear it out though. So I don't really know the full extent of coverage here now that we've sheared it out with some spray because it's a little bit too sheer now I can see my acne marks and I have setting spray everywhere <laughs> you know what would be great is to like get like a little like dish <laughs> like make a concoction um but he said that this like sets your makeup as you're applying it um all right I think I'm gonna like where can I make a concoction? I think I'm gonna do less at a time, like one spray, one pump, just so it doesn't get everywhere. Cause he kind of did like his whole face with his amount, but he has beautiful skin, so <laughs> we need a little bit more here. I love this sponge. There's nothing better than a fresh beauty sponge. I get what he's saying, but this isn't giving me the coverage I want. I can still see all my scars, so uh, this is so sad. Um, all right, maybe I'll just, let me just do just the foundation over here just so I can see how the coverage is on its own because I don't even really know because this is new for me. The color looks nice, which is comforting. I want to try his method, but I think I'd have to use a more full coverage foundation. Like a double wear or something. Because this to me is feeling more like a medium coverage than full. But it feels nice on the skin. It feels really light. It feels like water. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do his method with this foundation. This definitely oxidizes. It goes on lighter and then it gets darker so kind of like the Fenty foundation um, I remember I learned about that eventually and they were like test your foundation properly because it's going to oxidize and set to a proper shade so this one is definitely one of those the cupboard on the forehead looks nice it's very natural looking has like a medium coverage feels like water feels light and airy I'm glad you guys enjoyed the last unedited get ready with me. I really wasn't sure how people would like it, but overall, it was a very positive response, which is why we're doing it again. Looking at myself in the viewfinder, trying to decide if I like this foundation. But the coverage is just not there for me. It's one, I, like, I, I feel like I've put on so much just to cover my spots. I don't know if you're seeing it on camera, maybe not as well. Um, what is this? What are you doing? Okay. Third layer is the charm. I think it's because I had it mixed though. I think it might be more coverage if I had never <laughs> used the spray. So I'm sorry, that was a fail. I did not really get to try his method, but I'll try it with a different foundation next time and I'll let you guys know in the vlog how it is. Thunder. Gotta make sure we blend down the neck. This is very tan. Probably a little tanner than I am, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, overall, I actually like the foundation when it's not mixed. So like I said, this is the ultra long wear. So this is supposed to last a really long time so I'm curious if it actually will so now we're going to try the Tarte creaseless concealer Oops, I just touched my face all my fellow red-skinned people can know if you just touch your liquid foundation before it's set your it's over it's all over okay so I got the shade 208 no 20 B light beige it has that weird little applicator if you haven't watched that haul yet you should totally watch it I hear birds applicator is so weird this found this concealer is very thick 
very very thick um, when I swatched it the other day it's like it's hardcore they're not playing around so I have been baking with the hourglass translucent setting powder veil and I really like it not much comes out but I feel like it sets really nicely all right so Oh my god, you know when you like touch your beauty blender to something thick and you can feel <laughs> when it's thick because it's like kind of sticky. But you know what, that might be good for going creaseless. I think that makes sense for trying to go creaseless when it's a thicker formula. Kind of like glue. Nice coverage. Even though it is kind of thick and dr seems to dry kind of quickly, it does blend out okay. Let's do a little bit of that excess. I kind of just take what's left on my sponge sometimes and like, you know, go on the forehead and the chin just to like highlight a little bit. Hmm. I think it blends out nice. Let's go ahead and bake. I kind of just like lightly bake with this, like you don't need a ton of it, which is kind of nice. Have you guys been listening to Drake's new album? Let me know. I'm obsessed. It's very good. Um. What are my favorite songs? That's the ultimate question. I'd have to look at the list. I don't feel like I really know the names of the songs yet. I think one was called Summer Games. Summer Games? I really liked that one. Um, do you like part A or part B better? What's your favorite song? Let me know in the comments because I'm really, really feeling it. And I'm really excited to be going to his concert. Okay. Let's go ahead and set the rest of our face with a new powder that I'm trying for the first time. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless in the shade Honey. It's definitely a nice tan shade for summer. It's supposed to be just like a nice coverage powder foundation. I'm pretty sure you can wear this on its own. Ooh, I love when you put that powder on. It just like gives you the smooth, pretty finish and locks all that liquid in place. First impressions, it feels very light on the skin but it's giving me a really pretty finish and remember always push your powder in it will lock it in place it won't budge Ooh, that's a very pretty finish i hope it translates on camera how pretty it is i feel like it looks really nice okay okay and yeah it doesn't feel like dry or heavy or anything it feels really good on the skin Okay, so let's go ahead in now and do our brows. Eyebrows! I'm just going to use my favorite The Balm Cosmetics Ferocious Brow Pencil. This is nothing new. It's a favorite that you guys already know. I've been doing my brows a little bit thinner lately. And you guys seem to like it. I did an Instagram live the other day and I asked you guys if you like them and you said yes. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because I've been doing lives a lot lately. I don't know if I'll do any. While you're watching this, I'm on my family vacation. So I don't know if I'll do any that week. Maybe with my mom. She loves interacting with you guys. She loves you guys so much. I've been so lazy with brows lately, like I just feel like I do it really fast. I think people always, you know, ask on like polls and stuff, everyone's always like, what would you get rid of, like if you could just have it be done for you every day? That's like such a question on like quizzes and stuff. And I think I would choose eyebrows. I think a lot of people choose foundation, but god, eyebrows are just 
so tedious. Like, I think putting on foundation is kind of fun, kind of like soothing, you know? You're kind of just like, you know, having a good time, putting them on, and then, I don't know. I like putting on foundation, but not brows. Okay, I think I just literally messed up so many words, and this isn't being edited, so you're going to see when my brain just stops working. Cleaning up the brows. Cleaning up the brows. Are you guys taking any fun summer vacations this year? Are y'all doing anything special? You just chilling at home? Relaxing, maxing, living your best life? Okay. Ooh. Brows are carved, honey. And we can just clean that up. I just kind of blend away that concealer. I want to try the Rihanna Body Lava. I saw uh, a video of it on Instagram last night, and I'm like, oh my god, it just looks so beautiful. And I've been wearing like a lot of off-the-shoulder like crop tops and just like off-the-shoulder dresses, and I think it would look so pretty. My skin looks so flat. My forehead looks like so seamless. It's kind of incredible. Excuse me, I'm still like kind of sick, kind of have allergies. Who really knows what I have anymore? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just add a little bit of Give Me Brow from Benefit. A little bit. Just to kind of put the brows where they need to be. And yes. Okay, ladies, let's get in formation. Okay, what am I doing now? Baking. Let's sweep away baking. This is like so real. When these aren't edited, it's just like this is literally like how my day to day goes. Alright, I'm going to, since I put concealer on my lids, I'm just going to take some translucent powder and lock that in place as like an eyelid primer. Oh, I just love that hourglass veil as a baking powder. It makes your under eyes look so pretty, so bright. Like it actually lets the concealer like keep its color, which is nice. All right, so let's go ahead and bronze up now. What was I using yesterday? I liked what I used yesterday. I really like this, but I think I bought a shade too light. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting, but I got Nude Bronze Light. And I think this is for more, like, this would work for, like, Winter Alex, but, like, not Summer Alex. Mm, well, I do like how it looks, but I feel like I have to use a lot. They have different shades, but you know what? Why not just use it? We're, we're already here, right? <laughs> It's very subtle, like natural bronzer. If you don't want anything too intense and you want it to like have a really natural like skin finish, like I would highly recommend these. I just need a darker shade for summer, but I would definitely buy one because like they are super pretty. Okay, let's blush up, honey. Get it, like DJ Khaled, bless up, but blush up. Okay, okay. I'm a joke master, don't you know? I've been really going blushy lately. Like, I've been going, like, really, really, like, cheeky. Oh, I used these yesterday. I forgot about these. I never used these. They're from Makeup Geek. I still have them in the little packaging um, because they are, like, pan refills. So I really like Makeup Geek. I don't use them enough, um, but I really do like their products. So this is called Infatuation. It's a blush. It's a really, really pretty shade. Um, mm, mm, I love it. Ooh. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. The perfect peachy, like, pinch your cheeks blush. 
Oh, I love that. Yes, honey. Uh, highly recommend. I have to keep them in here. I need to get like a pan and like order more because I love Makeup Geek. And then I also used yesterday um, a contour shade, complicated, cool medium contour color. And I'll just take a little bit of that. It's a good nose contour shade as well because it is very cool toned. It doesn't look like really fake at all. It looks natural. Okay. I also have been back obsessed with the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. This is the highlight palette and whew, I love it. I was beaming the other day when I wore this. I was like, I forgot how much I love this. Excuse me. Um, but I mostly just use the middle and lighter shade just for my complexion. Uh, ooh. Can you see on camera? I can never tell. I can never tell on camera if things translate. Um, oh my gosh. So stunning. Oh, look at this too. What, hello. When did, when did this get here? <laughs> Has that been like that the whole time? Probably. Oh my gosh. This palette is so nice. It's like the perfect amount of shimmer and glimmer and gold silver and gold it's not Christmas time uh, I also this is kind of weird I take my blush brush with excess product on it whatever is left and I just lightly do my nose very very lightly um, or you can use your bronze or probably not both like I'm doing but there's something about it lately that I've been doing that it just makes it feel look a little bit more like lived in, like a little bit more natural, just having a little bit of like a little color on the nose. I don't know why I really like how it looks. It's probably a little weird. Little tip of the nose, little Rudolph highlighter. Um, but that's what I've been doing. And I just like the way it looks, a little color on the nose. I never do that. So eyes are the window all right i never have used this this what came in boxycharm this is the alamar cosmetics and it's the rihanna reina del caribe eyeshadow palette volume one i am terrible at pronouncing things but it's a really pretty um you know beachy palette and I really like the warm shades here, like these really pretty shades. And then we also have like some shimmer. Uh, I wish it had a mirror. That's the only thing I would change, but the colors look really nice. I have swatched them. So I'm gonna start off with um, this really nice matte camel shade. And I'm just going to work that in my crease. Sorry, my energy is a little low today, guys. I'm just uh, kind of exhausted and sick. But I'm still having the best time here with you. I love filming these, and I love the unedited ones, too, because I just feel like it's really real. Like, <laughs> this is just, like, <laughs> how it really is doing my makeup in real time together. This is really pretty. Like, I don't even want to do anything. I love just, like, a little warm brown in the crease i'm such a simple soul i really am what time is it 11 30 shit <laughs> i have to leave in like 10 minutes <laughs> ah. <laughs> always late actually no that is not true i'm like never late um okay i'm gonna take some of la costa which is this really pretty shimmery pink tone because i just want to see what it looks like Ooh, pretty not as pigment as, as I thought though the matte was really nice but the shimmer the shimmer is lacking yeah this is not as great you know some palettes like the mattes are better than the shimmers or the shimmers are better than the mattes like sometimes they're just not not the same um hmm. you know what let's take a little bit of that um, brick matte shade yeah 
Uh, and I'm going to put that also in my crease because I love a good like warm toned ready brown this is quick makeup y'all now <laughs> all you need is like a couple nice transition shades and like blend them together with a good blending brush like this has a lot of powder fallout though when I like touched it it was very powdery which is not amazing but these colors look really nice really pretty all right let's highlight let's take a little color pop flexitarian you already know it my fave so sparkly and vibrant that brow bone will never be the same a little bit right here oh a little bit a little bit okay okay ladies <laughs> all right so i'm gonna use the mascara i bought in the Sephora haul. It's the Urban Decay Perversion. This was one of my favorites years and years and years ago. Like, I want to say, like, I mean, I don't know how many years ago it came out, but it was, like, right when it came out, and I got a sample of it, and I totally just fell in love. And I remember when I was young, my mom's favorite mascara was always, um, I don't know if it's Maybelline. I love this ring, but it's so chunky. It kind of hurts sometimes. <laughs> kind of hurts a little bit. My mom's favorite mascara was, I think it's Maybelline, you know the pink and green bottle? Like the OG one that's been around like forever. Um, it's like kind of short, it's pink and then green top. That was my mom's favorite mascara and I always, like when she kind of taught me makeup and I always watched her, like I always thought it was like the, also the best mascara and like nothing else will be the same. <laughs> and then I started to try other ones and I'm like, oh my god, there is more. <laughs> Then my mom started to try more, and she's like, ah, oh, there is more. <laughs> um, I just got mascara on my pretty crease, and I'm pissed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't have any Q-tips. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no. Can she be saved? Kind of. Hmm, I'm sure. Why not take a crazy chance? Why not? It's definitely not as good as I remember. <laughs> Like, it's okay. It's not bad. The brush is a little bulky. Why, why did I love this so much before? <laughs> why did I love this so much? Okay. I mean, it's good, though. It's definitely, definitely good. But it's not anything to, like, you know, write home about. It's like... It reminds, it's not as good as my favorite, which is the superhero from It Cosmetics. That is my OG favorite. Um, so, last but not least, this is kind of just like easy makeup. It's nothing like intense, like no fake lashes or anything like that. Um, I bought the YSL um, Volupe Day Tint in Balm. So it's basically a tinted chapstick. This packaging is everything, like it's like heavy and intense and I just love the extra level of it so I got it in a nude shade so it's really cute the middle has like these little lips that are pink and then the rest is nude so I'm curious you know how much of a tint will it give us it smells good my lips are naturally pretty pink. Uh, mm, this feels really good though. Like it feels great. Um, I don't think <laughs> I don't think it really did that much um, compared to what my lips already looked like. But you know what? If you don't have a lot of pigmentation to your lips, it might do something more. I'm trying to add a little more mascara and build this up. I 
I really like that concealer. Like I can tell that concealer is not going anywhere. It's not going to crease. I can just I can just feel it. You know how sometimes you can just tell with certain products like if they're going to last or not. Um anyway, your girl is late and has not done her hair. <laughs> This week has been so crazy busy, um, but I had to pre-film for you guys while I'm gone. Uh, <laughs> like, keeps putting on more, hoping that it will add color. It might be because I had a little chapstick on first. But it feels great, and that's what I care about, because my lips are so chapped lately. Um, I don't know what this video was. <laughs> Just trying out some new products. I really like this powder. I'm definitely going to get one to put in my purse. Um, for touch-ups because I'm out of the one I use now. Um, I hope you can <laughs> take something away from this. Or maybe you just had a good time hanging out. I don't know. Um, I didn't even get to use his method. We're going to do that again in a different video with a different foundation. But I wanted to try this one out today and I really like this on its own. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're having a great day and great summer so far and if you didn't watch the haul yet there are some other things I bought some other skincare um go and check out that video and I love you guys very much and I'll see you next time bye